You're looking at the Emerald Sapphire website. This video will take you on a tour of the features of the website and how you can use it for quality improvement. When you're on the website, there is a frequently asked questions page that explains how to use the website and provides some detail regarding how the data was generated. Green info buttons, or tool tips, uh, are throughout the website and explain different functions. If you hover the mouse over one of these tool tips, a box appears. Our starting point on this tour is the page uh, with data regarding diabetes care measures. I'd like to draw your attention to the right hand side of the screen first. This is the area where some basic demographics regarding patients with diabetes in your practice are described and then compared to the average amongst participating family physicians in Emerald. For instance, this demo doctor has 14 patients with diabetes, representing 5% of her roster size, and you can see how this compares to the average Emerald roster. Now I'd like to shift your attention back to the left side of the screen. This is where care measures are illustrated in a bar graph. The graph illustrates how this physician is doing compared to an achievable benchmark of care, defined as the performance achieved by the top 10% of participating physicians for each measure. For this physician, 82% of her patients had an A1C measured within six months, and the mean score of the top decile of participating Emerald physicians was 90%. To see where you land on the distribution, you can click on the bar. In this demonstration, the data is incomplete, but when you click, you'll be able to see whether you're near the top, near the mean, above average, or so on for that measure. Below the bar graph, you can see the same data listed in a table. Over time, this table will be populated by each data load so that you can view trends for each measure. Another way to see the changes over time is the bar graph in the middle of the screen. This illustrates that from the previous data load to the current data load, this physician has had an absolute 8% decrease in the percentage of patients with an A1C test within six months. Now we'll look at the bottom right part of the screen. This is where the gap scores are presented. This illustrates the number of patients in the physician's practice who are not achieving the desirable quality targets. It is possible to look at only processes, for example, whether A1C or blood pressure was measured or whether a prescription for a statin was active, or you can look at only outcomes. For example, whether the actual A1C level, blood pressure level, or LDL level were at target. You can also combine processes and outcomes for an overall GAP score. If we go back to look at processes only, for this physician, three, uh, three patients are missing three care measures and one patient is missing four. Another way of seeing this is by switching to the cumulative view. This orders the GAP scores according to the number of patients in each category. Again, three patients are missing three uh, scores, and four patients are missing one care measure. It might be reasonable to want to learn more about such patients. Doing that is easy. Let's say I want to learn about the patients with a GAP score of three. Just click on that bar, and a screen will open up with the patient's IDs listed in a table and much more data about these patients, including things like when was their most recent A1C and blood pressure measured. It is also possible to see detailed data for all patients with diabetes by removing the GAP score filter. Click here. Now all diabetes patients uh, are listed with all their info. You can scroll across to see, including whether you've gotten the bonus billing uh, for these patients. From this page, you may identify a patient that should not have been included in the list. If that happens, you can simply click to exclude. Follow the prompt and hit OK. The most important thing about this page is the download button. You can use this to download the file and then open it in Excel. 
Once you've saved the Excel file securely, you can use Excel to sort or filter according to patients that might need an assessment. There are a few more things to demonstrate. Let's go back to the diabetes main page. Once you're in this diabetes main page, you can always go back to the patient list simply by clicking patient list. Now notice this feature up here called switch practice and the green arrow. This is available to this physician because she has been named a delegate by other physicians in her practice. This means that she has been given explicit permission to see the data of her colleagues with just the click of a button. Without this permission, this is not an option. It is possible also for many physicians to name an, ins an administrative person to be their delegate. We can then help the delegate to use the website in ways that facilitate quality improvement across the, pro uh, the practice. You can see how the delegate can choose different physicians uh, to look at and um, select their data. Contact us to learn more about how to activate the delegate uh, feature. Another feature is that you can change the data level. There are three options. The first is the practice profile where a physician's own data is compared against all participating Emerald physicians. This is the only level where you can access the patient list. Then there is the practice versus clinic profile, where as long as there are three or more participating physicians in the clinic, you can compare your measures against those of other physicians in your clinic. Finally, there is the clinic profile, where you can compare your entire clinic against measures from other clinics. The website works the same way for other disease conditions, including ischemic heart disease and hypertension, more disease conditions are being validated and will be included in future, future iterations of the website.